Then there is another controversial statement which sometimes Prabhupada says which simply agitates people. Right? This is, Prabhupada seems to say that the sun is closer to the earth than the moon. Now, people who know some amount of cosmology say that if it were like that, we would, be, we would not be able to live. And the Mercury is the closest planet. Neither Mercury nor Venus are actually suitable for human habitation because they are just too hot. So, what is Prabhupada saying actually when he says the sun is closer to the earth? So, this is the question. So, uh, the moon is not that far away, that's what modern cosmology tells us. So, how do we understand it? So, the Bhagavatam's vision itself is different. When it talks about distances, it's talking about distances from a different perspective. It's, it's a vision based on the evolution of consciousness of the residents. And within the Bhagavatam's, uh, Bhagavatam's uh, universal description, there is a vertical dimension. Vertical is not just physically up, it is in terms of karma, like I mentioned, heaven is up. So there is a vertical dimension to the universe in the cosmos. And then when we say the Swarga Loka is above and Satya Loka is above that, that is in terms of a karmic hierarchy. Now we may depict it in terms of a geographical hierarchy when we draw diagrams of the universe. But there is much more to the description of the universe. So with this basic understanding of the vision of the universe, now let's move forward. So here, let's consider three buildings. So. There is somebody living in flat A on the ground floor. Yeah, I'll just come to that. Yeah. So, so, the, so at the bottom of the, uh, the flat A ground level is the earth. So at the right, that's the right, the right side. Hmm? So now somebody is living here and then far away from them, somebody is living. Hmm? So that is the sun. The, that is the left, left top, leftmost, flat, flat uh, the, the white, the yellow one. That is the flat C. Okay. So flat A is the Earth, flat C is the Sun, and flat B you will see it's at a very high level. It's, you can say it's at the twentieth level, but it is very close. So when Prabhupada is saying the Sun is closer than the Earth, it's closer to the Earth than the Moon. He is referring it in terms of the vertical dimension. Vertical dimension means the height of the Sun is in terms of height the sun's plane is closer to the earth's plane than the moon's plane if you consider the plane yeah. then the sun is closer in its plane but not in the geographical distance so the earth is at the ground level the sun is at the second level so earlier i also described that the earth is the bhumandala and the anmanasottar parvat the sun is moving around but the soma is way above so flat B is horizontally, if we consider, in terms of horizontal dimensions, flat B is much closer to flat A. So here now we have three ways of measuring distance. One is, you look at the planes of all the three places, the plane in which they are existing, the earth, the sun and the moon. If you look at the three planes and measure the distance between them, then the sun is closer to the earth than the moon. But if we look at it in terms of the horizontal distance, the sun is much much further away. And then if we look at the effective distance, that is the diagonal distance. Even in the diagonal distance also, the sun is much further away. So when Prabhupada is talking about the sun being closer, it is primarily in terms of the plane at which the sun is existing. It is not the physical distance of the sun to the earth, but the distance of the solar plane to the earth's plane. So that, that yeah, the Manasot, just now we, just, when we started the class, it is described that the solar plane is at a particular level. Prabhupada mentions like that, plane. No, that is, the Bhagavatam itself is saying that the, the sun exists at a particular height mm -hmm. and then in between there are the Kim Purusha Loka and the Upadevata Lokas and then below that there is the earth. Yes. But the Swarga Lokas are way above. So the Swarga Lokas have already been described. And Chandra exists over there. So, so this particular dimensions, yes, these dimensions of, about the heights of various planes that's mentioned in the Bhagavatam itself. Okay. So this is the resolution for that particular distance conundrum.